fucking ruined my shot. Jerk. <laughs> class done and um, I'm gonna do some light training now I didn't sleep great last night so I planned on doing my full workout now after class but I'm gonna take it easy now see how I feel as the day goes on I might just leave it at that or I might do my full workout later on in the day if I feel better or squeeze in a nap or have a shitload of caffeine and um, it is that clock is not switched on it is quarter to eight now ish um, so workout now I'm gonna shoot some do some social media some email stuff like that just get after the day let's go Hey guys, so busy morning, just running errands, doing some work. Just finished my first ever massage. Um, I've been having like tight neck and sh shoulders and upper back, just from spending more time with the computer. I've been trying to work it out with a lacrosse ball and a foam roller, and it just wasn't happening. So um, sometimes you just need someone to do that for you. I went to this place called Inspire Holistic Center in Nace. Um, I feel better already, and it's definitely something I'm gonna do more. It's something I think everyone should do more, especially people who work out funny people always say to me when they have an injury or something like that oh I can't afford physio or I can't afford a massage and um, but the same people will spend 150 euro on a night out so like it's just a matter of priorities like just spend 100 euro on the night out and then use the other 50 to get a massage so I'm just at Harvey Norman gonna go in and get a holder for the phone so um, I can talk while I'm driving and then I'm gonna go to the gym gonna yeah, work out and train some clients yeah, okay let's go yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy fucking ruined my shot. Jerk. Okay guys, so training time. Warm up done. It's warm in here, I'm sweating a lot already. Got a back squats first. I haven't done back squats in a while, so I'm gonna keep it fairly light. And it's tempo work, so three seconds on the way down, two second pause at the bottom, and then explode up every single round. So I'm gonna keep it light. Just make sure the technique's good. It's hot. I started this gang shit, and this the motherfucking things I did. The motherfucking world is a ghetto Full of magazines, full clips and heavy metal When the smoke settle I'm just looking for a big yellow It's six inch stilettos, Dr. Dre Hello. Percolating, keep him waiting While you sitting there hating Your bitch is hyperventilating Hoping that we penetrating You get nating Cause I've never been to Satan For hardcore administrating Gang bang affiliating MC Winner had you wildin' off a zone in a whole half a gallon It's a gallon, 911 emergency You can tell him, it's my son, he's hurting me And he's a felon, on parole for robbery Ain't no cop in the fleet, ain't no stop in the G I'm in the six, you got to hop in the three Company Monopoly, you handle shit sloppily I drop a key properly They call me the Don Dada, pop a collar, drop a dollar If you hear me, you can holler, even rock wallet Follow the Impala, wanna talk about this concrete nigga I'm a scholar, the incredible, heterosexual Incredible, beg a hoe, let it go Dick ain't edible, nigga ain't federal I plan shit while you handpick Motherfuckers giving up transcripts I started this gangsta shit And this the motherfucking things I did Take your notebook, your bitch, and your clock. This motherfucker thought the coochie had a bad lot. You slapped her ass, that's alarming. Cause she want my worm like Carmen. We chin check niggas, them thin check niggas. Run trains, don't go diggers. Beware these four niggas. Scare motherfuckers like Stephen King flicks. Making niggas glitter room like a dyke bleeding dick. Make a second to none shit, nigga like quick. So when I bomb first, nigga, who you rolling with? Fuck that ice on your wrist. Fuck your fine ass bitch. Cause you can lose it in a tussle, nigga. Watch me hustle. Watch niggas kiss my ass without flexing a muscle. Bitches all in the back, they knees waiting to buckle. Same time, same channel, don't change the dial. Niggas for life, fucking your wife, these niggas wild. Hello. I started this gang for shit. And this the motherfucking things I get.
terror since the public school era. Bathroom passes, cutting classes, squeezing asses. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 13. A chubby nigga on the scene. I used to have the trade deuce and the deuce deuce in my bubble goose. Now I got the Mac in my knapsack, lounging black, smoking sacks up in axe and sidekicks with my sidekicks, rocking fly kicks. Honey's wanna chat, but all we wanna know is where the party at. And can I bring my gat? If not, I hope I don't get shot. Better throw my vest on my chest, cause niggas is a mess. Guys, so training done you saw everything except for the warm-up which was just like basic body weight stuff and um, I've reduced my volume a lot just because I feel a little bit burnt out and um, so I'm prioritizing sleep um, and not going into like red line red zone too much where I'm just completely fucked maybe once a week if even some weeks I'm not gonna do it at all so like this morning was just easy pace all the stuff you saw there was really strength work not, nothing too crazy I have a shake which I'll show you now and then I got a client and then home and dinner and a little bit of work let's go also there's cupcakes over here which I'm 90% sure Lisa said I could have one and 90% uh, is good enough for me she won't know until she sees this or she comes in there's one missing Guys, my shake is whoop, full of blue Powerade and a scoop of whey protein. The reason for that is I'm not going to get any food in until after the climb, which will be like half eight. Um, so I need to get something into me now, plus it will help me recover quicker. Now, it's a complete myth that if you don't have a shake or don't have something within half an hour, that you're not going to get any results. That's bullshit. It's just like people selling supplements trying to scare you. Um, but it can be beneficial. Um, but like supplements are the minority like five percent of your results if even so there's way bigger fish to fry than this Okay, guys, so just shot this badass clip and then it got interrupted because the guards had set up a fucking checkpoint Some people are so selfish um, But let's try this again. So I am just on the way home finished uh, for the day I'm gonna go home and uh, shower get some food hopefully get an early night but following on from the last vlog I got like eight to ten questions from people some just starting out some have already started they want to know what do i do they want to know what the next step is that's awesome i love when you guys get in touch and i can help you out and answer the questions but the truth for a lot of people is you know the answer already like the answer to any question in the world is at your fingertips it's in google it's on my page it's on the performance fitness academy it's on philly it's on call it's on lou dominic there's tons of good resources out there um, that you can just look at and get the answer to any weight loss or fitness or health question um, that you want. But the truth is people are letting fear um, paralyze them into pretending like they don't know the answer. And of course there's some questions you don't know the answer to, but the majority, like everybody knows you need to move more, you need to not be as inactive, you need to get some workouts in, you need to not eat as much junk food. Um, because it's not going to help you get results but your fear is paralyzing you and it's stopping you from taking action and it happens to me whether it's in fitness or nutrition or in business or whatever it is it happens to us all um, so what you need to realize is that you have the answer to most of the questions you're just letting fear stop you so you're, most people are afraid because it's going to be uncomfortable for the first while nobody likes change um, and despite what any like coach or program tells you any approach is going to be difficult at first it's going to be challenging that first week or two um, there's going to be some adjustments you're going to get some cravings um, and you're going to have to fight against it but the fear of that happening is stopping you from getting started at all so guys you, you need to realize that like ask questions i love it but like eight times out of ten you know the answer to the question and um, you're just afraid and you're stuck in that quick fix mentality um, where you're looking for something that'll do it in seven days or 14 days or whatever it is um, the truth is you know that you just need to be consistent you need to master the basics um, and you just need to start you need to just get started. And I will try.